Lake and Bay Backwater proudly presents Chew on This with Captain Ben Chansey. snook, hungry man-eating sharks, huge redfish, and big-time tarpon. Chew, 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 chew on this. Fishing television with intensity. Are you ready for some of the most intense, highly entertaining saltwater fishing you have ever seen? Then sit back, tighten up, and chew on this with Captain Ben Chansey. <laughs> it flies. <laughs> the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show is brought to you by Legendary Lake and Bay Custom High Performance Flats Boats. Chew on this charters, home of high intensity fishing. Fish Belly Lures at fishbelly.com. Angela Chancy, your Southwest Florida Realtor. I Avet Reels, just the best made reels, period. That big old bait. Here you go, boy. Let's chew on this. pounds. Can you believe that? What a great fish. Oh, that's a monster snook right there. What do you think about that, guys? Hey, you guys stay tuned. We're going to try to get some more of these. Like I always say, big bait catch big fish. Stay tuned. This segment is brought to you by Fish Belly Lures. Let's hook up. Hey, I want to show everybody back home what we got in the well. We went out there, went out in the sound, and we were able to grab us a bunch of big lady fish. Come over here and take a look and look in this well. Now that's the bait we use for these big snook. I'm going to reach in here and grab one. We'll see if we can get another one like that 26 pounder we just got. There you go baby. Come on, come on. You have to really work that hook through their nose. It's pretty bony. If you don't work that hook through their nose, just slides in and they'll jump right off. These things are notorious about getting off your hook. All 
right? It's real important when you're fishing for these fish. Just keep your line tight the whole time. You gotta feel whenever they hit, you have to know it, because if you don't, automatically in these pilings. It's really more like a knockout fight. Unless you pull it. You got one. Careful with these guys, they'll jerk the bubble grip right out of your hand. Come on, bro. Put my hook back. We gotta let you go. There we go. Whew. I'm not sure how much he weighs, but we're gonna find out here real quick. My guess is 20 25 pounds. Oh, it feels heavier than that thing about water, though. Well, I don't know my weights very well. 30 plus. Oh, look at that girl right there. I thought I had me a big snook. Big Jewfish is just as good. Hey, you guys keep watching. They're eating up these ladyfish. No telling what we're going to get today. This segment is brought to you by Angela Chancy, your Southwest Florida Realtor. Well, I always say big bait catch big fish, and we've been using big lady fish, but I'm gonna get one of the biggest ones out of the well that we caught earlier today. Look at this well. Let's see. I wanna look for a big one. I think this one right here might be the one. Yeah. Oh, I'm still tired. Fighting big fish, close quarters, heavy tackle. Just a big knockout fight. He wins or you win. Fortunately, I won that one. power pole in here and anchors us down real well. These fish are so strong. They're just pulling us right out, pulling the power pole out of the ground. So we're having to use the trolling motor right now. If the tide drops a little bit, we'll probably be able to put it back down and have a little more stable platform. You gotta keep moving the boat back away from the pilings. If I'm too close, they'll just pull me right back into their home. I won't have a prayer.
something that's crazy when we're here fish. They get busted off. Everybody's going to get busted off. These quarters are really too close. But what's weird about it is nearly every fish we ever catch, we always, almost never, have a hook in them. I don't know if there's that many fish down here, or they just, they just get them out quickly. But we never find them with hooks in them, or rarely ever. Woo! All right, I don't know if you guys got to see all of that. I know we got some of the film, but I don't know how much. Oh, pulling my bait out, we were moving to go to another slip. Big snook, 25, 30 pounds, came out, slammed my bait. I set a hook up on it. I thought I was going to pull him out. The boat was coming backwards. Fish couldn't take it, I don't think. But I pulled as hard as I could, jumped straight up in the air, slung my bait off. I lost my balance or slipped on my front deck. Fell over the edge, had to grab the trolling motor to keep my ride from going in. And I still went over. Sitting on top of the trolling motor with the blade running. It's all right, though. You guys keep, keep on watching this show because it's going to get very interesting. All right, you guys. I went back, got the second biggest lady fish back in the well. As you can tell, I'm drenched. I went overboard. My head's still dry, and we're going to see if we can make one of these snook dry, too. You guys watch this. Chew on this thick, mama. I owe you one. You know, I like telling these fish whenever I throw my bait up, yeah, chew on this. Well, that last fish chewed on this. And it put me in the water. Guess I'm gonna have to mark my words a little more clearly next time. I love it when my bait gets nervous. You just can't take a chance. Anytime you feel a little bump or something like that, you gotta be on your toes and ready to go. I wasn't a bite that time. Who knows, maybe next time it will be. I gotta be prepared. He had me a long time ago. I was lazy. Maybe we'll get the next one. Oh, oh my word. Look at that. It was all the way in his belly, ripped out of his mouth and all the way down the fish. Can you believe that? How'd I miss that hook set? Oh. All right, these fish. Are lined up right along that dock over there. They're sitting in there when they hit, they run you right underneath that dock. So I gotta get over here, position as far as I can away from them. Because they're gonna pull my boat right into the dock. They're very strong. So what I have to do is I gotta get way over here, allow myself a little freedom, a little play, especially with the real big snow. Shoot on this big boy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on, girl. 
Come on, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a damn this is right here. Man, there's a big stuff in here. Take him Larry to your side any day. Oh, am I? It's in there. All right, let me. You heard that weight hit the boat just then? These guys will sling their head real hard, and sometimes that weight will come right up the line, smack you in the face. Be careful with these guys. See, this is 12, 13 pounds probably. Thirteen and a half pounds. Just think about that snook right there. Not bad. Oh, not bad at all at eating whole ladyfish. These guys are greedy. Love fish like this. All right, we're gonna let it go. And go after another one. This segment is being brought to you by Barnes Family Chiropractic, 239-541-3434. Doing it. We got some huge fish down here. And they're so big that no drag on any real handle. What I gotta do is I have to thumb this pool as hard as I possibly can and keep that fish from taking drag out and dragging the end of this piling over here. And then Nelson's on the front, he's gonna use the troll motor to try to pull me away. Sometimes we're able to pull these guys out. It's the usual sometimes. We're gonna see what happens here. Keep watching. The ladyfish is dead, they might not eat it. Sometimes when they're eating real good, they'll tear it off. Oh no, I'm probably gonna switch over to a catfish. That's right, I said a catfish. Some stinky, nasty things you guys always throw away. Go ahead and get on my hook. I'll show you might need to keep those a little more often. All right, I got a catfish here. We caught him earlier while catching our ladyfish. Yeah, stinky, slimy catfish. Let's get something down there that's hungry enough to eat one of these guys. Oh! 
Can you believe that? We're two fishing. Look what he said. A catfish of all things. Oh my goodness. Let me weigh this girl real quick. We go put her back in the water. She's a big spawner. Let her go make some babies. Come on, girl. Let's see how much you weigh. 21 pounds. Is that a beautiful snug? Man, I love fish. I love these big fish. And it ate a catfish of all things. Fishing for big snook, you can't beat that. Fishing for two fish and catching a big snook, you really can't beat that. Let me get this girl back in the water. She can go make some more babies, because I know she's got to be a mama. A big spawner. This week's edition of Chew on This, Saltwater Fishing with Intensity has been brought to you by Legendary Lake and Bay Custom High Performance Flats Boats. Chew on This Charters, home of high intensity fishing. Angela Chancy, your Southwest Florida Realtor. I Avet Reels, just the best made reels, period. Screen Print Plus, your one-stop shop for all your advertising needs. Barnes Family Chiropractic, 239-541-3434.